Hey folks, Red Mage 24 here. I thought, since I'm finally back home, back online, time to do another video, maybe another wrestling commentary video. I decided for this one, I'm just gonna take the script, like I normally read from when I'm doing this stuff, toss it right out the window. <sighs> With that out of the way, um, I'd like to take a moment to talk about our latest WWE champion, The Miz. Now I know sure a lot of the smarks out there are just you know salivating or you know frothing at the mouth or whatever you want to call it you know they get this latest turn of events they're like oh god Miz Miz sucks this is terrible rah 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 blah 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 you know uh, and I'm gonna say this right now I am not a big fan of the Miz I don't like the way he looks I don't like the way he sounds uh, you know personally me I'd rather do, you know I, I'd step on his face as soon as look at him, get him off my TV, and I'd be happy. But, at the same time, I really am behind this title change, to be completely honest. The main event scene in the WWE has become very convoluted over the last couple of years without, you know, because it hasn't changed. Now, it's been the same couple of guys in this endless square dance who are just constantly switching partners over and over and over again. You know, it's nice to try you know it's nice to see they're trying to change things up and you know also I'd like to point out well to all the people who are just saying you know well, what about when they brought in Sheamus what about when they brought in Jack Swagger they put the belts on them I didn't like those belts to be perfectly honest or you know those guys being in the main event scene because of the build you know Sheamus shows up and he just wins the title from out of nowhere he goes on to, you know, to a, to a lackluster title reign where he'll be probably known as one of the weakest champions of all time. You know, because uh, honestly, uh, let's see here, if I remember right, I'm not going to... I I could be wrong on some of this, but like, you know, Cena got his rematch and Sheamus got himself DQ'd intentionally. He went to the Royal Rumble against Orton and that match ended in a DQ, you know, so on and so forth. You know, Sheamus won the title in a tables match. He shoved Cena off the top rope you know, Amazing Red could have beaten John Cena for the title in that regard. You know, that's what made it so weak and so terrible, you know. And Swagger, you know, he was one of the most pussified world champions I've ever seen. He won, you know, it's like that Money in the Bank match was just complete and utter crap. He cashed it in, he held on to it for a while, and he kind of faltered because he just, you know, neither of these guys were ready to be champion, and on an aesthetic level, they're both just kind of awful looking, you know, personally, I, I just, I don't really like either of them, uh, but The Miz, like I said, I kind of want to club him upside the head with something every now and again, just because I don't like the way he sounds or looks or whatever, but Miz got a, you know, got a more traditional build, I mean, it's not like they just threw, you know, it's not like they just threw the belt on him after he showed up, he cut his teeth on the mid card, you know, he constantly strived to get better. I mean, I know how a lot of people, will, you know, a lot of the bleeding hearts would be, well, you know, you know we'll, we'll say to Cena about Cena critics, but, well, he's getting better. Well, while Cena was getting better, Miz got be he definitely got better. If you watch some of his matches from a few years ago compared to now, it's like looking at two different people. You know, Miz has improved. He's, you know, only gotten better with time. He's, you know, he make he's really good at making people hate him. He is totally over as a heel. People are gonna be, you know, are just watering at the mouth, you know, just salivating. They want to see Orton get revenge. They want to see him take his belt back from the Miz. You know, I think, you know, but yeah, Miz cut his teeth on the mid card. He won several tag titles. He won, you know, he won. He was United States champion for quite a long time. I don't know, as I recall, he actually was U.S. champion, and he had the tag titles at one point. You know, they they did a really good job with an accelerated, slow build for Miz, and I believe personally, it's, you know, that he's ready. I think he'll make a great main event heel and a new addition, you know, to the main event scene to freshen things up. You know, my only hope for Miz. You know, is that they do, you know, they don't fuck it up like they did with, uh, you know, Seamus, you know, with Seamus McSwagger. You know, look, this is my opinion. This is what Miz needs. First of all, you know, he's won the belt. That's great. 
he needs to retain it for quite some time. Okay, I mean, I'm talking like, you know, if he loses it next month or next week or whatever, you know, back to Orton, then this was meaningless and a colossal waste of time. And I, you know, honestly, I feel very bad for The Miz. But, uh, you know, what he needs to do is hold it for a couple months, maybe two or three. And, he, you know, the other thing he needs is he needs to legitimately defend it. Sheamus kind of fell through because he was just, you know, because he just, he sucked. You know, it's like he couldn't, he could, the only people he could beat, you know, were mid-carders or something like that. Other matches were DQs. Okay, and don't even give me that Triple H bullshit because, let's face it, you know, he was, you know, Triple H put him over, but he had to, tr he had to jump Triple H to get that win on him, you know, at Extreme Rules. Okay. <laughs> Furthermore, isn't it something like there's rumors going around that Sheamus is Triple H's workout buddy, so that's the only reason why he got the push anyway? I, I don't know. That could be real. That could not be real. I, I'm not sure. Anyway, and, and again, like Swagger, it's just he didn't have any charisma. He wasn't really ready. He was, they gave him a... You know, he was way too rushed. Miz, slow build, and, you know, hopefully, like I said, I hope that he he needs clean pins... Over you know over some main over some higher up guys. I mean I'm talking like Chris Jericho, Edge, Rey Mysterio. If Cena was there, he could he could needs a clean pin on Cena. You know someone needs to you know the guys need to put him over. They need to bring him up to their level so then he could be an exciting main event heel. You know, <sighs> I just hope some guys are willing to put him over. It's you know, and kudos to Randy Orton for you know for doing that. I mean. He did. He put Miz over, even though it was, even though Miz came at him when he was weak. You know, Orton still looked strong. He was firing back, and that was a beautiful counter to the RKO. I don't know who can't cook that idea up, but beautiful. So, for as much as I don't like his in-ring persona, I'm hoping it does something to spice WWE up and hope maybe turn things around for them. My congratulations and condolence go out to Mike Mizian. Miz, you've earned it, and you are. Awesome.